Do you know that more than 100 million people in the U.S. have some form of liver disease? That's almost one-third of the population. The worst part is that many of them don't even know they have it. Your liver is the largest internal organ in your body. It literally performs over 500 vital functions, such as filtering toxins, producing bile, and regulating blood sugar. But what if I told you that some of the foods you eat every day could be severely damaging your liver and putting your health at risk? In this video, we're going to reveal the worst 10 foods for your liver, according to studies, and how you can avoid them or replace them with healthier alternatives. You will be surprised by some of them, so make sure you watch till the end. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Fried Foods you probably already know that fried foods are not good for your waistline. But did you know that they are also bad for your liver? Fried foods are high in saturated fat, which can cause fat accumulation in the liver, leading to inflammation and scarring. This condition is known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and it affects about 1 in 3 Americans. In a study of over 3,000 adults, those who ate fried foods more than four times a week had a 37% higher risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease than those who ate them less than once a week. So next time you crave some fries or chicken nuggets, why not try baking them in the oven instead? Or better yet, swap them for some crunchy veggies with hummus or salsa. Your liver will thank you. Number two, red meat. Do you love a juicy steak or a delicious burger? If you do, you might want to think twice before indulging in too much red meat. Red meat is high in saturated fat and cholesterol, which can increase the level of cholesterol and triglycerides in your blood. These fats can accumulate in your liver and cause fatty liver disease. In fact, a study of over 40,000 women found that those who ate red meat more than five times a week had a 30% higher risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease than those who ate it less than once a week. The American Institute for Cancer Research recommends limiting red meat intake to no more than 18 ounces, or about 510 grams, per week, and avoiding processed meats such as bacon, ham, sausage, and hot dogs. Instead, choose leaner sources of protein, such as poultry, fish, eggs, beans, tofu, and nuts. Number three, white bread. White bread is one of the most popular types of bread, but it's also one of the worst for your liver. Why? Because white bread is made from refined flour, which has been stripped of its fiber, vitamins, and minerals. When you eat white bread, your body quickly digests it and converts it into glucose, which raises your blood sugar levels. This triggers your pancreas to release insulin, which is a hormone that helps your cells use glucose for energy. However, if you eat too much white bread, your cells can't use all the glucose, and some of it gets stored as fat in your liver, which leads to fatty liver disease. Instead of white bread, try eating whole grain bread, which has more fiber, nutrients, and antioxidants, and can help regulate your blood sugar and prevent liver damage. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number four, soda. Soda is loaded with sugar, especially high fructose corn syrup, which is a type of sweetener that your liver has to process. When you drink too much soda, you overload your liver with fructose, which can cause it to turn into fat. This leads to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But wait, you might say, what if I drink diet soda instead? Surely that's better, right? Well. Not really. Diet soda may have zero sugar and zero calories, but it also contains artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which can also harm your liver. Studies have found that heavy consumption of diet soda can increase your body mass index and blood pressure, which are risk factors for liver disease. Artificial sweeteners can also interfere with your insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. And if that's not enough, aspartame has been labeled as possibly carcinogenic to humans by the World Health Organization. Number five, too much salt. Salt is essential for your body to function properly, 
it helps regulate fluid balance, nerve impulses, and muscle contractions. But when you eat too much salt, it can cause problems for your liver. How? Well, salt can increase the production of reactive oxygen species in your liver cells, which are molecules that can damage the DNA, proteins, and lipids of your cells. This can lead to inflammation, cell death, and fibrosis, which is the scarring of your liver tissue. Over time, this can impair your liver function and increase your risk of liver diseases, such as fatty liver, cirrhosis, and cancer. In fact, a recent study found that feeding rats a high-salt diet for six weeks abnormally affected how their liver processes many substances. The recommended daily limit for sodium intake is 2,300 milligrams, which is about one teaspoon of salt. Try to keep track of how much salt you eat and make small changes to reduce it over time. Your liver will thank you for it. Number six, alcohol. You probably already know that drinking too much alcohol can cause many liver problems, but why? Well, when you drink alcohol, your liver has to break it down and eliminate it from your body. But too much alcohol can overwhelm your liver and cause oxidative stress, inflammation, and cell death, which lead to many diseases such as fatty liver disease, alcoholic hepatitis, and cirrhosis. But the question here is how much is too much? Well, according to the American Liver Foundation, women should limit their alcohol intake to one drink per day and men to two drinks per day. One drink is equivalent to 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of liquor. If you exceed these amounts, you're putting your liver under stress and increasing the risk of inflammation, scarring, and cell death. Number seven, raw fish. Raw fish, such as sushi, Sashimi and ceviche can be a delicious and healthy meal, but it can also be risky for your liver if you're not careful. Raw fish can contain parasites, bacteria, and viruses that can infect your liver and cause diseases, such as hepatitis A, hepatitis E, and liver flukes. These infections can cause symptoms such as fever, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice, and can lead to chronic liver problems such as cirrhosis and cancer. To prevent these infections, always buy raw fish from a trusted source and make sure it's fresh and properly refrigerated. You can also freeze raw fish for at least 24 hours before eating it or cook it thoroughly to kill any germs. Number eight, mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great source of protein, fiber, and antioxidants, but they can also be dangerous for your liver if you eat the wrong kind. Some mushrooms, such as shiitake, oyster, and portobello, are edible and nutritious, but some mushrooms, such as amanita, are poisonous and can cause liver failure. These mushrooms contain toxins, such as amatoxins and phallotoxins, that can severely damage the liver cells and cause symptoms, such as vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and jaundice. If you eat a poisonous mushroom, you need to seek medical attention immediately, as you may need a liver transplant to survive. To avoid this risk, always buy mushrooms from a reputable source and never pick wild mushrooms unless you're an expert. Number nine, sugar. When you consume too much sugar, especially fructose, which is found in high fructose corn syrup and other added sugars, your liver can get overloaded and start to store excess fat which can cause fatty liver disease. In fact, a recent study found that women who drank one or more sugar-sweetened beverages daily had an 85% higher risk of liver cancer and a 68% higher risk of chronic liver disease mortality compared to those who drank less than three per month. That's a huge difference. So how can you protect your liver from sugar damage? Well, the best way is to limit your intake of sugar-sweetened beverages such as soda, juice, sports drinks, and energy drinks. You should also avoid artificial sweeteners, which may have negative effects on your liver and gut microbiome. Number 10, herbal supplements. You might be wondering if herbal supplements are good for your liver. After all, they are natural and supposed to have health benefits, right? Well, not so fast. Some herbal supplements can actually cause serious liver damage according to recent studies. 
First, some herbs contain chemicals that are toxic to the liver cells, such as paralizidine alkaloids, which are found in comfrey, borage, and coltsfoot. Other than that, some herbs can trigger an immune response that attacks the liver, such as cava, which has been linked to severe hepatitis and liver failure. So always consult your doctor before taking any herbal supplements, especially if you have a liver condition or take other medications. So these are the worst 10 foods for your liver, according to studies. By avoiding or limiting these foods, you can protect your liver from damage and improve your overall health and well-being. Remember, your liver is your body's powerhouse, and it deserves your care and respect. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you eat some of these foods regularly? Do you have other better alternatives? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.